Hello YouTubers, Rob here. So, water treatments for dummies of which I am one. Um, I've done this recently. I went out and bought the various chemicals it asked me to. And it seemed to work A-OK. -okay. I was looking at John Palmer's alkalinity videos. I measured the pH of my mash using one of those little pH measuring things. And um, it all worked very, very well. And um, I'm assuming... The results are going to be pretty good. It's still in the boil, um, sorry, in the in the fermenter. But um, thus far, it all seems bang on A-OK. -okay. It's certainly done no harm. So what I thought, just, you know, anyone could do this. So just get doing it, okay? Everyone, get going. You know, don't use your normal water and you can make these fantastic adjustments. They're only about like two or three quid a big bag. And they'll last you about, well, anywhere between like 10 and like 30 brews. So... There's nothing you need to particularly worry about. This is not super, you know, super scientific. The, the idiot's guide is how to do it most simply. So I'm on Yorkshire Water's website. I get my water from Yorkshire Water. I put my postcode in, and it's given me this uh, kind of breakdown of my chemicals or my water. It's not really full enough, so I'm going to download the full report. Always worth doing. So I get mine from Royal's Head, as you can see. Okay, and if you scroll down here, it gives you the map, and it just shows you absolutely everything that's in it, including some strange things like cyanide, etc., etc. There's not too much of that. But um, you do that, you go up to the top here, and I used Graham, with a H, Wheeler. Graham Wheeler Water Calculator. Google does its thing, and there it is, click on that, Jim's Beer Kit website, okay, thanks Jim for this, okay, you can use um, Beersmith, but if you haven't got Beersmith, you just want the free version, then uh, this works absolutely fine and dandy, so you've got things like hardness, okay, the ones I would fill out myself, um, hardness, so we just go back here, we find hardness is there, total hardness, highlight it, put it across, it's in calcium, you can see it says CA there, and you want the mean average, okay, so the mean, they do different readings, the mean there is 22.28, so we go back here, and we just put in 22.28, okay, yeah, it calculates your calcium. I tell you what, I've already pre-populated these. I know what they say, so I'll just speed things up for you all. Sodium. I forgot what sodium was. No, sodium was eight. Let me just check. Sodium was eight. Sodium. Na. Seven point nine nine, which I'll call eight. Um, leave that one carbonate. It doesn't tell me that one. Sulfate's twelve. I believe, I don't know what chloride is, sulfate, let's just check that, oh I know, sulfate was 30.25, don't listen to me, 30.25, and then chloride is, where are you, oh there's a lot of jumping around between thingies, tabs, Chloride, there she is, 12.18. So there's the mean value. You want to go for the middle value, the mean, the mean average, right? 12.18. So we'll just pop that in there. 12.18. Obviously, yours will vary. And then, if you look here, you can pick your type of thing you're brewing. Now, if you want something that's really, really malt forward, like a stout, you'd select stout. Okay? This is... Really child's play kind of stuff, isn't it? You go down here, and it says volumes to be treated. Now, this is your mash. So think about your, not only your mash water, but also your sparge. What does it add up to? Your pre, pretty much what you'd consider your pre-boil volume plus your grain loss. So I'm, I'm going to say 33, roughly. And it's saying to make a, uh, a stout, which is very malt forward, low on the sulfates, high on the chlorides. And that's exactly what you'd expect. Malt forward is chloride. And then hop forward is sulfate. So we're talking quite some significant 
uh, additions there. I should probably add in a little bit of chalk. I've not bought any chalk. It's barely registering for a stout, but I might go ahead and buy that. Um, I recently brewed an IPA, so I just went bitter. And you'll see now, because it's bringing out the hot bitterness, that that flips around. Sulfate now is really high, and chloride is really low. So again, it's hot bitterness, hop forward. Chloride, less hop forward. Okay, these things are like Epsom salts. You've got normal standard salt, uh, calcium chloride, and then gypsum. So uh, I hope that helps you guys. If you fancy giving it a go, just give it a go. Just do it. You know, nothing to lose, everything to gain. It's not going to make serious amounts of difference, but it might make some. So I hope that's helped. It's obviously free. So feel free, give it a go, and uh, let me know how you get on. Take care.